whenever we are working on a real time projects we will not work on only one table we will not work on only one data we have to work on multiple tables we have to extract data from multiple data sources there might be such situations where we have to combine two different tables there might be some situations where we have to create duplicates of different queries and different tables so my dear viewers let us consider that there is a situation where we have to add two or three different tables into one particular table in order to meet the client's requirement do some transformations do some changes then go and prepare a report what is the probable approach that we have to do hi i am m asif hussain from no how academy what are we going to learn in this video we are going to learn and understand how to add two different tables into one table in power bi so by the end of this video you could get a very clear idea how to combine or how to add two different tables in power bi using power query editor so watch till the end so here my dear viewers i have a particular re report okay now i have come up here into the data transformation part which is power query editor now in this power query editor if you see that we have only one query that we have only one table so now let's consider that i have to add another table okay so now what i have to do first i have to get one table into my particular data then i have to add these two am i right so for this i am going and clicking on new source let me choose excel workbook here and in this let me choose the product data so now what i am selecting i am selecting one more data here now which is in the excel data source format i am clicking on the sheet that i would like to select and i'll click on okay so when i have when i have clicked on okay you can see that sandwich sales is one table and we have another table if i want i can go and change the table name to data so now i have two tables here or i can call it as two queries here now there's a situation that i have to add two tables the first and foremost condition whenever we are adding two different tables is that there should be at least one common column in both the tables all right there should be at least one common column between both the tables so let's go and see what is the common column between both the tables and let us even go and analyze whether if there is any column which is null whether there are any values which are missing in this particular table so that we will do that small transformation as well then we are going to go and join the two tables okay now i'll come here to the sandwich sales let's see we have sandwich id order id sandwich name quantity order date order time unit price total price sandwich size sandwich category sandwich ingredient sandwich name okay and we have all these data okay and there are no errors there are no null informations here now let me go and see the data query as well we have region we have country we have business segment model color sales date list price unit price order quantity okay so now as you can see that there are multiple okay null columns here in this particular query so now as the as you can see that it is 100% these columns are 100 percent empty there is there are no data in it okay there is no data in it every column is 100 percent empty so it's very obvious that we have to you know remove all these columns which are not at all necessary so i'll select this one particular column i'll press the control key so that i can go and select multiple columns at once and remove all these columns in one go so now what i'm doing i'm selecting all these different columns okay now as i have to select all the columns which are completely null so i am selecting all the columns here right click remove columns so now what i have done i have removed the columns and those are still remaining let us remove that okay so now i have removed columns now if you carefully observe my dear viewers there is no common column between both the tables not in the sandwich sales table not in a data query or data table so now what we have to do the condition is until or unless we have a common column we cannot go and add two tables into one 
so for that what we have to do so let me do a small uh, step here i'll go to add column and i will add an index column let me go and add one index column so here we have index column and i will start it from one so now we have got one index column let me go and rename this index column as id okay just i am mentioning this column as id and what i am doing i am moving this id column to the beginning okay so it's coming in the first so in the same way i'll come to the data query as well here i'll go and add another index column starting from one now i will change the name of it to id and in the same way what i'm going to do i'm going to just move it in the beginning so that uh, it will be easy for us to go and view it all right so now as you can see that we have id column and we have id column in both the queries in the sandwich sales query as well and in the data query as well so now my dear viewers in power bi if we would like to add one or more tables into a particular one table then we have to go with the option called merge query we have merge query here merge in power bi merge is nothing but join combining adding two tables into one so now what i am doing it is asking me merge query so now you are merging the query with the existing one or you would like to have a separate query as merged so now it is easy for me to have a separate query because i do not want to disturb it the original query that i have got it from the customer so now i click on merge query as new and as well as i have clicked on merge query as new it is by default selecting the first uh, table as data and we obviously we have another table as sandwich sales okay so now as you can see that id column here and id column here so these two are matching that's where i have selected the two common tables two common columns sorry so now as you can see that the selection matches okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to click on okay so when i click on okay you can see that we have got a new query with the two tables merging into one so now if you see here the data query that we have it the last column that we have is order quantity and if i come to the merged query and you, see, you can see that the last column that i have is order quantity and after the order quantity the next immediate columns whatever are there are completely belonging to the sandwich sales query here all right sandwich sales query now you might have a question sir you have there are multiple columns here in the sandwich sales query but in the merge we have only one column called sandwich sales what's happening the point here is that we have to expand okay it is merged but now we have to open up the merged columns to view all the columns whichever we want so now i will click on expand and in the expand whichever columns we would like to have you can select all those columns whichever columns you would like to have, you know view it in the merge all those columns you can select as i am not selecting id column because already i have an id column here i'll click on okay so when i click on okay all the columns related to the sandwich sales we, you can see it here as you can see sandwich sales id order id sandwich name quantity order date order time sandwich unit price total price sandwich size so all the columns are completely relevant to the sandwich sales query so in the same way if you would like to add still this merged query to the another query again we have to follow the same procedure by having one common column and going as a merge query as new so now if you look into the understanding my dear viewers merge query it will merge the two tables in a column level basis in a column level basis so in this video we have learned how to add and combine two tables into one in power bi and we have also learned what is the key aspect and what is the key point to remember whenever we are adding two tables in power bi so thank you for choosing knowhow academy as your source for it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate the tech world if you have any questions do not hesitate to reach out it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you stay curious and keep learning